It says on air, it says on air, so we're good. And now I could be, oh, someone else's fucking, a moderately attractive ASMR streamer is, uh, is live. We're not going to get any views. <laughs> you see that? Look at that. What's, what are we going to do now? Oh, no. Not one person's going to show up for this. That's okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Hugo. I'm Jake. And uh, what if we get real close to the mic? Am I a moderately attractive ASMR model now? Or video producer? You totally missed every point in what we were trying to accomplish with moderately attractive ASMR YouTuber. Okay. Well, anyway, thanks, everyone, for showing up. Uh, we're here to open... Our fan mail. Did you put the P.O. box in the description by chance? <laughs> no. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, if you're watching this later, um, after it's, like, archived, we'll put that in the description. P.O. box 6544, Saginaw, Michigan, 48601. <laughs> Did I get it? <laughs> Fuck you. Is it 4602? I don't know. Is it? Anyway, so fans, we're here to talk uh, uh, to you guys and open some mail and ask us questions if you want. Uh, yeah, yeah. Super chats are encouraged. Okay, Paul Allen fucking did that, <laughs> and I'm the Paul Allen. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. If this is anyone's first time watching us do a PO unboxing, Paul Allen. Paul is a, a staple on the streams. Um, who six has forty six or eight? I was very close. Six five four four. I got that almost right. Okay. So the PO box is in there. Uh, Legend of Phoenix uh, mod slash um, Dixman here uh, is uh, is the uh, person to look for for that. <laughs> Jake, what is your favorite bar in Grand Rapids? Visiting a friend from Grand Valley. That's a great question. If you like beer, go to Founders. Okay, Hopcat's pretty good. But I strongly suggest for anyone visiting Grand Rapids, Michigan on the west side of the state, go to Stella's Whiskey Bar, get yourself some chronic fries, get yourself some, some bacon popcorn, get yourself maybe a whiskey sour, thank me later. That's a great place. Also, they have, if you like blue cheese, they have the best, according to GQ Magazine, this is not, I'm, I'm making this up, the best burger in the United States of America. The, the blue burger at Stella's. Whiskey just, bar in Grand Rapids. Just a burger with blue cheese. I mean, no, like, it's and, fucking delightful. Is it, it's like it's because I was prepared. Or is it just high quality? It's just so all of it. Just all of, something about it is just like it. Just it's so good. You, you got to experience it if you like. Only if you like blue cheese. They have other really great burgers too. But those, uh, you know, you know what I like that I've had really recently. Uh, I was at a college town near Detroit. I had a, a peanut butter burger. Really good when it's done peanut well. Peanut butter burgers. Did it have an egg on it? It did. Peanut butter burgers with an egg. And bacon? Oh man, they get you. Okay. It was like whole, it was a place that made their own peanut butter for the yeah, burgers too. Yeah, where was that? Really you you had mentioned um, it to me. I forget. Did I, I sent you a picture of it. Yeah, you went down to watch a play or something, right? Yeah, or I went to go, I went to go see Evil Dead the That's musical. That's right. Yeah. Very cool. Anyway, uh, I guess uh, Jake is not a Hufflepuff. I'm a Gryffindor. It says it right here. Um, because I'm a hero, goddammit, it, and I get points for no reason. By the way, when I'm looking at my phone, I'm looking at the chat. I'm not ignoring what we're doing yeah. right now. By the way, can I say that uh, Slytherin gets fucked constantly? They deserve it. They're full of Do evil. Do they deserve it? They're full of evil. One person is full of evil, and then he turns the rest of them. But my argument is because they don't get the points they deserve. When you, when you, when you are downtrodden, when you don't get your points... As you deserve. It was a little dickish of Dumbledore in the a first, lot dickish in the first year, and now Gryffindor wins for no fucking re gr bravery. At the very least, he didn't have to decorate the hall in green and then change it to red. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's on him. I mean, the whole series is kind of how it's on Dumbledore anyway, which I like. But you know, sorry, Slytherin. Anyway, I'm gonna open this. Dumbledore is my favorite because none of his <laughs> actions make sense unless he's intentionally a dick. This is from Amazing Wildcat. Okay. Oh, is it a movie? It I always love like when we get it. movies. It looks like it. It looks like it. Oop. Ooh, this uh, isn't a movie. This is a cacophony of film. This is films to inspire. Uh, are, are you familiar with a uh, great um, filmmaker of our time, Angus Bukan? <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Oof. This looks like uh, Dave Rubin's uh, younger brother. Oh my God! There's this so looks many... like Will Smith's uh, probably more talented brother. Uh... It's Harry from Psych. It is. 
Wow. Faith Like Potatoes. I've heard of this movie. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. So we got, we got, we got a super chat, by the way. Super chat. Uh, Two dollars. RGQ. Is that Retro, retro Game queen? queen? Love you, Mom and Dad. Please be careful with that knife. You know. You know I will be. You know it. What's Rust about? Journey Home, a faith restored. Rust uh, is uh, a bunch of naked people fight over resources in a wasteland. Nice reference. A former pastor, Golden Globe nominee... Carbon Burnson. That guy's name. Carbon? That guy's like the name, element? That guy's name. Oh, Corbin. Corbin. I'm sorry. That's I a was real very, name. I was very surprised. Oh, I, wow. I, look. Pigger, Pigger Ninus is, uh, wow, com coming out with the, the real strong words there. Good for you, boy. Anyway. What do you, well, hold on. We got a super chat from Miss Elfaba. What do you think of butt stuff? Don't stick it in my butt. Not a fan. Don't, don't, don't put it in my pooper. Too sticklish. Don't lick my butt. Don't touch my butt. Don't look at my butt. Give me a fair warning. Um, a former pastor who walked away from his calling returns to his small town to discover that a mysterious fire tragically struck a local family. When he learns that his childhood friend is implicated in starting the fire, he sets out on a mission to find the truth and in the process rediscovers his faith. Rust is an uplifting drama about faith, family, <laughs> and the powerful ties that bind a community. Paul, I personally love it in reference to butt stuff. Well, as a gay, I'm I'm very happy for you. Um, not, that's not like I was a gay. No, that makes sense. That's fine. That sounds fine. I'll make you I'll make you like it, Jake. I promise. I, see, the the amount of people that solicit me for butt stuff. I'm calling bluff on 95% of that. You don't want to see Jake's butt. You don't want to see it. He stands up to, to stop recording enough. Every like, time there's a I butt see, crack. I see his butt crack almost every, every time. Every time. It's not something you want to see. Not every time. Too hairy. Can you all put chat in slow mode? God, no. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, okay, I was going to give this to you. I'll give you this one. Okay. Um, because I dropped this in the snow, and it started to run. But it's greetings from... Hmm... Uh, this is, this is from, um, um, Slovenia. Greetings from Slovenia. Slovenia? Yeah. Holy shit. So, uh, and then Exodus 23, 19, which is the, um, the, uh. The slave the, the, beaten? No, 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 no. Exodus 23, 19 is the, um, the lady that gets chopped up in a bunch of pieces. Oh, yeah. okay. So, uh, and then there's a, I don't know what this says, but there's a woman and she's holding a child and she looks menacing. Fantech J. What does Fantech that say? In there? So, uh, yeah, I think that lady's going to abort that child, uh, which is cool with me. Uh, well, actually, it's born already. That's just murder, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for the postcard. I'm sorry I uh, I melted you. I don't know what your name is. Uh, from Ziga? If your name is Ziga or Ziga, Ziga? Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna dox you. Although I don't think anyone's gonna come looking for you in Slovenia. Um, thank you. Uh, does this have a sunflower on it? No. If there's a sunflower, uh, we have to read it silently first. Okay. That's the. That's the thing. Okay. This one says this is in cursive, and I'm. Oh boy. Uh, don't write to us in cursive. I'm. I'm an un uncultured fuck. Dear Hugo and Jake. Been a fan of your YouTube videos for some time now, so I decided to finally write. I come from Michigan myself, a small town, three rivers, south of Kalamazoo. Do you know where that is? South of Kalamazoo? Mm -hmm. Dude, that's that's almost Indiana. Oh, okay. Uh, I especially like your take on the Chick Tracks. Did you know that Jack Chick used to say he worked at Marvel Comics? Marvel said there is no record of him ever being there nor anyone ever remembers him this, being there. I need this confirmed. If that's true that's, that's hilarious. That's beautiful, yeah. Uh, so so, what's this? So so hold on. Okay. Uh, I, I gotta be honest. This is this is very terrible writing. Uh, so puh something uh, in his later autobiography, so something in his later auto autobiographies, he dropped the reference of working in Marvel. Ah, wonder what else he lied about? A lot, probably not liking the D. <laughs> oh, I also enjoyed your Bible studies. Anyway, I also like your takes on Christian films. Most of them uh, are entertainingly done. Oh, that's good. 
most of them. Some of them he was like, Meh! well, some of them, uh, some of the early ones are probably pretty sad because yeah. they're like just mad about it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, though, uh, uh, though, oh, try man. typing, guys. This is tough. I mean, I, I do love a handwritten note, but maybe maybe bring a um, a decoder with it. Uh, something, Ooh. something. Oh, you're surprised about the famous actors that are in some of them. Oh uh, yeah, I see. Sincerely, I see. Uh, I believe this is this is say Jan. It's either Jan or John. It's hard to Jan. <laughs> I'm not sure. Thanks, Jan. Thanks, oh oh no. no, I did the thing. There it is. Uh, and the mic is still working. Cool. Why do you have a turning knife, Jake? This is from uh, a five dollar super chat. The engaged few. I have a turning knife because I have a knife block. And this is the one that was on the thing out there because this is the one I keep in my office for crafts and stuff. It's his toe knife. I actually don't have a toe knife. No one should I don't have, have a toe a, knife. I don't have that much scum. Ugh. I don't yeah. think people. I, I my understanding of the toe knife was was for like cuticles or something or cutting the nails, but very poorly. I have a cuticle tool. I understand that. Oh. That's an Always Sunny in Philadelphia reference. I know it Frank is. Has I'm, a just toe knife. I'm just Dude, saying. I'm just saying. Are there real people? His toe knife have... is like a wooden handle, old steak knife. Like serrated. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Ugh. Also, uh, will you be fluting mushrooms after the live stream? I actually don't have any mushrooms to flute. I'm going to finish up making tamales, though, I think. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Miss Elfaba, would you act in a Christian movie? I've offered 100% yes. I'd act in any movie anyone asked us to. Yeah, come on. For fun. Start being filmmakers, fucking lazy boneses. I know, seriously. At least statistically, we have enough followers. We one, at least one One filmmaker. has to grow Where? up to do something worthwhile. Where are grow up? They're all still teenagers. Okay, uh, I just this is return, return to sender. sender. This is a chick track. Um, uh, 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 Parker, if your name is Parker, your shit got sent back to me, uh, and you live in North Dakota. You're the only one that lives in North Dakota, so this is I, I just talked to you. You're the only citizen of North Dakota. Um, so uh, update your uh, address on Patreon so I can send you your stuff. Um, if you're watching, you're probably not watching. Uh, this is from. Finland from Senja. And you have an amazing last name, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drop it on here. I like stuff from Finland. Look I at that last name though. That's fucking uh, so satisfying to the mouth. Oh yeah. I really is. wish I would have just said that instead, because no one no one here would have known. If I were gonna start a vodka brand, oh my I God. would steal your name. Honestly, you should just run for politics. People will whatever the station is, they will vote for you. Finland's Finland's new president or whatever you, you have prime ministers. I don't know what you got over there. What they have. You have a just a local governor. Okay. Ooh, we have a chick tract. This is a Finnish chick tract. Exiateti yatsava. I don't know what this does. I don't know. I don't know what that does. On the back it says sour krumta. <laughs> Here you go. This is from Helsinki though. Neat. So I imagine this will be this will be in. Uh, English. Oh, see, this is this is great handwriting. Look at that goddamn. Oh wow. That's okay. Beautiful. This is a non-American. In, this in, is, I, in I'm English. gonna put this on the board because That's it's fucking a neat. foreign language one, and I like. They that. might they might be wanting us to send it back. I don't know. Hold on. Uh, dear Hugo and Jake, I enjoy your videos. Perhaps I like your movie reviews more, but I also occasionally watch your, watch your Chick Track series. Honestly, at first I could hardly believe that these comics are actually taken seriously. But then I saw a lady giving these booklets at Helsinki Central Railway Station. She advised to get to know Jesus through light and and playful, playful medium. Uh, apparently, Jack Chick has an audience in Finland as well. I send you one of these booklets. It's in Finnish. Maybe you will find it curious. Maybe you will make an episode when you try to read it in Finnish. Unless you speak the language falsely, in which case it wouldn't be so funny. Uh, the story in the booklet is Last Rites, translated as Misguided Friend. There is, of course, an English version of it on chick.com. Uh, almost kind regards. King regards. Just barely. Close. Very Senja close. with the amazing last name. Very cool. Thank you very much uh, for that. Uh, we are missing another couple super chats, I think. Well, yeah. So, uh... <laughs> Uh, the, the engaged few. That is not a craft knife. Oh, I know it's not a craft knife. I just have this knife already and it's curvy. And so I can, I can do stuff with it. Um, and it's just, it's small and I don't, I don't flute enough things to make it worthwhile in my kitchen. Uh, cause I have a paring knife I use for most of those things. And then of course, Paul, 
he says, oh, great, you can be in the Paul Allen, Allen biopic. I don't know. What, I, what is that going to be? Because I, I want in. What would we play? I'm in. Can we play ourselves? Can I be, can I be, no, no, no. I want to be like a uh, Rod Serling sort of narrator in between uh, acts. Like, and this is when Paul decided to spend his money on Hugo and Jake for some reason. And then it's just you taking hundreds of pictures until you got the right jump up in the air with the perfect with the perfect pose without the motion blur. <laughs> I'd watch that movie. I'd watch that so much. All right, next pick. We don't have dollars in Denmark. There's nothing we can do. Okay, well, well. That's just next on the pile. Sorry. This about is it. just cosmopolitan. <laughs> Someone got us a is this did Piss Guy do this? I don't yeah. remember. Oh no, yeah, from Piss Guy. Piss Guy got us a let's see if there's anything interesting in this month's Cosmopolitan. Hot sex skills. How to get and give supreme pleasure. One mm. night stands. Have a fling with a fun new hair I would like color that rinse it away. I would like to know about the supreme pleasure real quick. Uh, okay, I'll find out what page right. it's on and see what Is this the one where you have to uh, smash my taint with your fists? With your knuckles for me to properly get off. Got an Indian burn your dick. Got to just fucking rub it. Just take the top and go like this. Well, that makes me uncomfortable every time you make that joke. <laughs> it's because it's because every every guy can picture that and go. Oh, no, I don't want that. Nope. All right. While you try to find that, sand it down like an oak bench. An oak bench. Yeah. I was thinking like a lathed bat. Like a hand, a hand spun bat. Well, it's not around. I, I'm sanding it down. Like a to a nub. Yep. Oh, I don't want a nub. That See, here's sad. what I don't get. Okay, this is a cosmopolitan magazine. This is a magazine yeah. aimed at women. For the record, piss guy got mad at us. Why? I don't know. He was being he was being cringy in the Discord, and he got mad at some people. Oh, okay, not my problem. Anyway, <laughs> this is a magazine magazine aimed at women. Does that smell uh, good? No, it just smells like paper. This is a, isn't a sample thing. Uh, no. Here's a perfume ad with a naked Natalie Portman. Uh, Everyone likes Natalie Portman, though. But, like, the, women are the primary readers of this magazine. And even if a certain percentage of them are either bisexual or lesbian, I mean, the ad targeting here confuses me. I'm just saying, like, I think everyone can get a, a nice wetty for Natalie Portman. I, mean, okay. I, I have oh, one. Oh, you can smell it. Can you? Well, what does Natalie Portman smell like? Is this pre or post shower, Natalie Portman? It smells like Hayden Christensen's hands. Mm. That actually does smell pretty oh, good. Oh, it smells. Oh, I'll no, smell that's it. a baby powder thing. I don't like no. that. I think it smells good. Anyway, do you not believe in lesbians, Hugo? I just said, even if there's a, of course, there's a percentage that are bi or uh, uh, lesbians. It's not the majority. See, he only. forgot lesbians. Uh, <laughs> all about men. All of us have eight packs, and all of us want you to knuckle punch our taints. Does it smell like sand? Because he hates sand. All right. That magazine's hard to find stuff in. So just, okay. All right. I'm confident it has an index. And as, and as all other indexes operate... So too does the Cosmo one. This is one with the little stuff inside now. Okay. Ooh, we got some crafts. Okay. See, hmm. I hate these. They have like asbestos inside them. <laughs> this is from Crystal. Thank you so much, Crystal. Uh, this is. We have some some crafties. We have a we have a, a flower. It's a nice flower. It's a very nice handmade uh, flower craft. I don't. I can't hang it up yet. Hold on. Uh, and this is. Uh, will you take this off my hands real quick? We sure. have a letter to Hugo and Jake. Okay. What picture did you cut these different? Patterns looks like bacon. From? Is it bacon? It looks because look, the these postcards. This is bacon. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. This is mine. You don't get to steal this from me. Okay. Hey, Hugo and Jake, feel free not to read the other card on screen. It's just something I wanted to share. I did not want to say it on YouTube because some people are jerks. When I say the meat... F oh, the meat flower! It's a meat flower! That's great. Um, 
but I knew what to do. So here's a meat flower that will not rot. Thanks for helping me smile, Crystal. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and then this is a this is a private message to us that none of you get to read, but you okay. can read it if you want. All right. And then I'll keep this. Got the trash pile and the keep pile. That's how this works. We did. We got a real meat flower. Definitely a real one. How you? How could you forget lesbians, Hugo? I didn't forget lesbians. I mentioned them. Wow, they're very mad at you for forgetting the lesbians. I mentioned lesbians first. No, not my fault. You people can't listen. Hugo doesn't like orange is the new black either. So, yes, I do. That show's not even about lesbianism. There's just tons of them, though. He doesn't like the L word. I've never seen the L word. He doesn't like... Uh, he celebrated during the Pulse Club shooting. <laughs> That's not true. We donated money to that. We did. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah. Not to the shooting. To the... <laughs> To, to the, the defense fund to for the, the shooter. The, God. We donated money to the victim. Yeah, we did. Paul Allen, $5. When will you be announcing details about the TBR Wood ed Woods Editions? Need to put it on work time. TBR Woods Edition. Camp Root. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, we're thinking um, probably five months from now, August. Uh, I'm going to finalize it. Um coming up I, I, I gotta know where we can actually do it um there's several venues and it's 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 winter time right now and those places are seasonal so i can't get into contact with anybody okay you look happy <laughs> what uh, an odd assortment okay let me read the okay <laughs> so uh is paul a millionaire he keeps getting super chats that's rude to ask about people's finances just rude just rude. What the hell happened? Oh my god! <laughs> what is happening? This is great. Okay. Okay. Um, You're very tickled, and I don't know what's going on. Wow, there's so many Dear Hugo documents. Dear Jake, hello. In a recent video, you claimed that the Paul was number one fan. I take exception to this, my good sir. Uh oh. And he isn't even wearing a Hugo and Jake shirt in his picture. He was on the. For, to be fair, he sent me a picture of himself on the on the, the the Great Wall of China wearing the Hugo and Jake shirt. Although he does have the distinct advantage of being able to jump and have his pictures taken simultaneously, <laughs> like some form of demigod. <laughs> Also, to have trees in his background rather than a door and some coats. The only alternative background I could have offered was snow and buildings, as I am a college student at CMU, double major in accounting and economics. <laughs> Central Michigan? Yeah, I think so. Nice. But that would have required going outside, and it's a bit cold. Anyway, I've been watching you guys for close to two years now and have viewed all of your videos at least twice. Oof. My friends often make fun of me for watching you because they have no taste whatsoever. <laughs> You guys are That's the best. Great. And if you ever find yourself in Mount Pleasant with nothing to do, I can point you to the nearest free food. Uh, sincerely, Casey. P.S. Recipe for best pancakes. Let me see. 12 tablespoons flour, 4 tablespoons melted butter or margarine. I don't like that you put the margarine there. Now, even better. Ooh. Okay. Took it medium temperature. Nice. Good pancakes. Here's what Other syrups are available. There is a... Okay, so... There's a lot going on here, Paul. There's a lot going on here. You know what Paul's never done? Sent me a pancake recipe. That's true. Hold on, wait. Now Paul's going to send me actual pancakes. Dear Hugo and Jake, enclo this is enclosed are two pictures of me, one Ooh. for you and one for a fan, jumping off of Paul's idea. Um, uh, but months after the... Let me see. The fall. The there's fall. also a gift for the person who wins the picture. Unfortunately, I am a college student and cannot afford an Amazon gift card. I need that $20 for cheap vodka. <laughs> Instead, I have enclosed a picture of chicken. Oh, wait. A packet of chicken <laughs> ramen flavoring and a copy of Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice on DVD. I hope these dull the pain. So here is just the disc <laughs> for Batman v Superman. Dawn of Justice? 
Is that the animated movie? No, this is the one that... This is Batman v Superman. Oh, the movie movie. The movie movie. Like, uh, you had that? You bought this? I assume they bought the Blu-ray DVD and sent us the DVD because they didn't want it. I'm and... actually surprised you have... And okay. indeed, here is a packet of chicken. But here's the thing. I recognize a ramen pack when I see one. This is not a ramen package! You giving me off-brand ramen, you bitch! What is that? Not the man, not the good kind. Not the good kind. Anyway, let's see the pictures. Let's see the pictures. <laughs> I oh wow, oh wow. In his pictures, Paul, he's holding your picture. Whoa! Boom! 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 <laughs> that is amazing. So, hello, lucky fan, and Hugo and Jake, meet me in the bathroom, ten o'clock. You know the one. And then we have a fan. So, so okay, so I guess uh, you can you can win this. And this, and you're going to have to pick up that packet because, indeed, we do have to send it. Okay. So awesome. there will be a drawing or something. It's, it's over here. It's right here. We'll follow it. Uh, Paul says, gauntlet thrown. Now, I will say, uh, just like a presidential election, it, it does seem Paul has a little bit more money to throw around. He's got a little bit more muscle. But, but okay. as as the arbiters of fandom, we cannot let that sway our vote. But he has the grassroots college support. He does have He's grassroots college support. He's got that vote on lock. Mm. And look at that but charisma. Paul has the gay the gay vote. Look at him, though. He's got the brazenness to hold. This, his... guy's, this guy's way too straight. He gets to hold Paul's picture while he's doing it, almost as if to say, Is he throwing Paul, a... I am better than Is you. Is he throwing a gang sign up here? Is that a gang sign? I think it's just him. I think it's just him. Lusciously is rubbing it, on his own man. Is it a little chest. sexual? Let me see. I oh, think that is pretty God, what a what a this is a man's man. This is an outdoorsman. This is a God, I wanna I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Mount Pleasant. I'm gonna go to Mount Pleasant for this guy. <laughs> Oof. Anyway, we got a few super chats. Uh that was wonderful, by the way. Thank you for yes, that. Uh, so Paul A Gauntlet Throne. RGQ puts her cast her vote in, hashtag team Paul A. Nicholas Jordan, $5 Super Chat. I'll have you know that there are at least two people in North Dakota. Greetings from the Bakken. That's not a place. That's not a place, Nicholas. That sounds you, like a you demi plane. Made, you made that up. <laughs> Paul A, was he the one that won my photo? I believe he is. Yeah. Which means that, that the, the master is being, being uh, gone after by the student. This is, this is some next level shit. Oh, you're making a mess over there. You clean that shit. Oh, look at this. This is all beautiful. I will ensure. And you're you're just a goddamn travesty over there. B Thorpe, five dollar Patreon or Patreon super chat. Hey guys, I've decided to start a cult out of boredom. If you or anyone else would like more info, please feel free to email me at the holy uh, carrots a at gmail.com. The holy carotta, I think. Oh, now we have. Uh, Oh, just Anne Franco didn't want to say anything. Um, thank you for the five Canadian dollars. I appreciate you a lot. <laughs> All right. Wow, what nice hair. You have good hair, too. That's good hair. Uh, is it your turn to open a thing? Um, oh, there's another Cosmo. You can get that one for free. You know, it won't count as you're open. Here you go. We'll go through the stuff before we get to the big packages. Okay. Hugo is a trash goblin. Takes one to no one. There's no return address on this, so maybe it'll say who this is from in here. It's a nice sunflower uh, Ooh, cover. Remember? Uh, don't read that out loud first. This is the sunflower oh, card. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They told me on uh, on Twitter. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's very it's very lucky that I checked. So, uh, hard for me to be noticed without money for super chat. No, it's not. I got you, baby bird. I just if you get if you if you do the super chat I I am compelled. They made a meme and want us to show it on What's camera. The meme. I can't read it. It's Jesus walking out of the tomb and it says April fools you Roman fuckers. <laughs> I like that a lot. I don't know why you sent us a physical meme. I love the see sometimes we get physical memes though. Okay. Thank you Catherine. I like this. I like this a lot. I'm going to put that. We got to get more tax. Ugh, it doesn't get tackier than this board. Got it. Okay. All right. Whew. Infinite joy. <laughs> uh, okay, so... 
got another card. Uh, this one's from William, uh, hailing from the, the great state of Utah, home of the Mormon. There's a whole box of tax next to us. I bet there is. Oh, I see this right there. Yeah, okay. We have, we have, I know we have plenty of tax. Okay. So you need bigger board. Maybe. Eventually. We might just put it right into the wall. That's not good third, for your home the value. The 3rd of March, 2018. Wow, this is a big one. Okay. Here we go. Also cursive. God damn. Dear Hugo and Jake. I thought about sending you to a butt plug, but all the cheap ones on Amazon probably aren't worth using and are not like and are most likely toxic. Believe it or not, there's no butt plug you could send me that I would use. But anyways, I really do like the uh, content you create, and I hope you can continue for many years to come. I like that you're able to make videos and get paid without having to have something like a, like a, like a tuna work to get content out of the masses. Oh, having, having a, probably a network, TV network. Uh, and my boyfriend thinks I'm writing a love letter to you too, which I guess I am. Seriously, if you're ever in the Salt Lake City area, I am DT. That looks like an E, but it's probably an F. Wow, this is a long one. Yeah, this, this has got a lot going on. One of the reasons I'm writing is that for your uh, D&D &D campaign, Hugo mentioned that he's writing a diary in character, and I thought that it might be more authentic if it were written with a fountain pen. I've recently started writing with fountain pens, and I find them a joy to write with. There is a good-sized Reddit community, as well as lots of expensive pens to get started with. I have a friend that's addicted to fountain pens. So I have a fountain pen. The is, one that I, yeah. I use is a fountain pen. I don't know how to use it correctly, but I do use a fountain do, pen. Do these inks smell good? No, but uh, my buddy Josh, sometimes for Christmas, he'll write handwritten letters to us. And uh, he'll have peppermint fla uh, flavored, scented, uh, really nice ink that's often uh, pearlescent. It's very, very uh, wasteful of his money. Uh, there are also lots of different inks to experience with to find uh, one you like best. Anyway, I'm glad you're f you're uh, finally doing a live show just for patrons, and I've been la looking forward to one for months. Uh, real disappointed it doesn't happen today. I'll be real disappointed if it doesn't happen today. Uh, which was the 3rd of March. Did we do the Patreon show on the 3rd of March? I don't know when we did it. Was it was very close to that. Then. So, uh... We got a super chat, by the way. Okay. Uh, Ash Farther, there is only one way to win this contest. Harold Penisman Cosplay. Oh, and shout out from Arkansas. You should try that pancake recipe on Unpop. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I guess that's about it. I hope you haven't had too much trouble reading my cursive. I'm doing okay, actually. Uh, I know you probably haven't really needed uh, needed cursive skills since third grade. I write in cursive sometimes. I write a combination. It probably doesn't help that I've been drinking wine while writing this. Yours in sexual thunderclaps, William. Is that another gay man that wants yeah, to? Yeah, it is. What? I'm telling you. But I'm, again, I'm, I'm thinking that there's there's like a 95% uh, bluff rate on the uh, on the amount of, of uh, gay uh, sex um, solicitations that we receive. <laughs> that leaves I feel like once they're in front of us, we'll be like, never mind. Yeah. No. True. Okay, here's here's a here's a here's oh that's a that's a nice sized one. This is from S and P. Oh, and it's just addressed to Hugo. Why from me? If you're a patron and you didn't see the stream this month, the stream is available on Patreon, uh, on the yeah, feed. They're archived. Uh, they are all archived, and uh, you get an email. I do it on Twitter, and we do it on Discord. So if you miss it, uh, I I literally could not possibly tell you any more than I do. This is a birthday card from Paul Allen. <laughs> to you? Wait. Because your birthday's soon. My birthday's the 12th. How does... Paul did say... We he, mentioned it. You, you actually said it. it. Okay. You actually okay. said the date. 
I was wondering how he knew it was. Also, I, I have your birthday present today. Oh, you do? I do. Okay. Yeah. Dearest Hugo, we are sure this will be getting to you late. No, it's early. Actually. It is a little my, early. My birthday is Monday. Thank yeah. you. Uh, but like Blanche. <laughs> like Blanche? Is like a Golden Girls reference? Like Blanche would say, better late than pregnant. <laughs> we hope your birthday was ab fab. Scott is a cheap bitch, so enclosed a Wendy's gift card instead of the long, long, <laughs> Longhorn Steakhouse one I wanted to give you. <laughs> Honestly, I would go to Wendy's more than I'd go to Longhorn That's Steakhouse. A good, that was so actually a good move. Yeah, it was Thank good. you. Uh, think of me when you're savoring the hot and savory Baconator. Your friend with benefits, <laughs> the Paul Allen, and Scott in tiny little And, another, and another, another picture. I love it. This joke will never stop being funny It's so to me. good. And it's the same picture. Literally, it's not just more Paul pictures. Literally, I will not be happy until a third of this board is just this same picture. By the way, for those interested in Patreon, Paul gave me an amazing idea. We will be sending pictures <laughs> to gold tier patrons. Why would they of us? Oh, okay. And we'll sign them. It'll be different pictures. Uh, they're very cheap. And, oh, that uh, would make sense. And he's like, he's like, I things. would love to get those. And I'm like, I bet other people would too. That's a really good idea. Oh yeah, we could just so, do um, different poses, weird stuff. And thank you for the gift card. I like Wendy's. Yeah. Scott, so we'll probably do silver and gold, and gold will get both, and silver will get one of the other of us. Okay. Yeah. Gonna get me a bacon. And a I, you know, I've had a bacon ear. I do not like them. You don't like bacon ear. There's so not? there's not a lot. There's just sauce and bacon and meat. No, That's what know. I like on a burger, though. Yeah. Nah. Nah. I wish I had more going on. I mean, you could add lettuce and tomatoes. I and guess, stuff. but I, I, you know, it's called the baconator, not the you know bacon sandwich that you need stuff on. <laughs> I think they oversell it. I think that's what it is. Well, they have a son of Baconator. I, that's the one I got most recently because I was like, I haven't had a Baconator since probably high school. I should try this. Yeah. Oh, it's snowing again. Okay. Make it stop. Can winter be over now? It's just about over. Good. So this is from... I'm opening the bottom. I'm trash. Uh, this is just from Amazon Fulfillment Services. Thanks, Amazon. Uh, so I won't know until I open it. Hugo, your birthday is the day I had my braces installed when I was 15. Why do you remember the exact day you had your braces Maybe because in? they're counting down to the day they don't have to have them. Oh, anymore. maybe that would make sense. Unless it was your actual birthday. Hashtag Team Baconator. I agree. Baconators are delicious. Okay. Wow. Okay. How old is Hugo going to be? 24. I'm going to be 24. I'm not even halfway through my 20s yet. Good for you, dude. I'm doing pretty damn good for myself. Pretty okay. Okay, so this is from oh, uh, uh, I don't know who this is from. Uh, oh, there's not a did I thing? miss anything on there? It's cool, nonetheless. From Stephen. Stephen to Hugo and Jake. Oh yeah, that was underneath Game of Thrones. Way better fiction. Way better fiction than the Bible. From Stephen. Jo uh, this is uh. George R. R. Martin's The Lands of Ice and Fire maps from King's Landing to across the narrow sea. So it's just an, it it's is, an it atlas. Is, of, it's an atlas of Game of Thrones, which I am a huge fan of. Can I, so you I'm, see the I'm very, I'm very excited about this. You, on the other hand, have not uh, finished this, uh, caught up. Therefore, these are mine. No, but I uh, obviously, but I really, <laughs> I love, I love stuff like this. Uh, yeah, they're, they're very. I love the the artifacts of like yeah. pop culture stuff. Yeah, I love that sort of shit. Paul A. Uh, that is why I asked you what fast food you liked the other day. Oh, also, I will hand deliver pancakes. Wow, that is next level. Are you going to make your own pancake recipe, by the way? Because I think that would that would outdo it. Holy shit, Casey, don't disappoint. <laughs> wow, these are like all giant, huge maps. You could like put these on walls. Oh, these might be cool to put on walls downstairs. For I'm thinking D &D, so too, yeah. Or, or maybe frame some of them. Yeah. Jake, go back to the buzz cut. I, I have been uh, threatening Sarah with it for about two weeks now. Um, I, I, am, I am very much looking forward to getting back to... Uh, well, it's about to be summer. It's about to be the time. buzz cut. I know. I just want to just want to restart, you know? Just want to restart. I don't like getting haircuts. I don't like people touching me. Yeah. Uh, it bothers me a lot. Um, this, is very, this is very cool. Though. It is super cool. Oh, let me see what the oh, maps are, actually. Very good. King's Landing itself. The known... They just have a map of the known world. That's very Ooh, cool. It's a heavy one. 
Here's your next one. Yeah. Oh boy. There you go. Yeah, this is this is really fucking cool. Ooh, this so is, thank you, Stephen. This is a heavy boy. This has got to be a book or something. You said boy. Yes, I I've infected you yes, with you my accidental memeing. Now I'm an infected boy. Jake will be 30 in June. That is correct. I will actually be finally an adult. Oh, you disgust me. I know. <laughs> uh, this is from Ross, by the way. Comb over, Texas. Jake. I think I should grow a giant quiff. I think you mean quaff. I have okay hair. Uh, I do have the widow's peak, but I'd uh, you know always had that. So. I don't know. I, just, like a couple I just really actually. like having short hair, though. Dear Hugo and Jake, I discovered the Bible Reloaded a year or two ago and became an instant fan. At the Thanks, time, buddy. I saw my first atheist Bible study video. I was about two years into a project with a similar goal, to reveal the Bible for what it truly is. The result of that project is HBNE. Which is this? I'm guessing so. Hmm. Uh, which is called The Holy Bible Naked and Exposed. So I just had to mention you guys in my acknowledgments. Oh, shit! We're acknowledgments in the book! Yay! Hey! Thanks, buddy! Our minds obviously work alike in this area, and you are so good and so funny at what you do. I suppose I could have asked you guys first if that would be all right, but it's easier to beg forgiveness than ask permission. If anyone wants to acknowledge us in any book or whatever, you can do it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. That's yep. great. Uh, anyway, if you want me to remove it, let me know. No, absolutely not. You no. can keep it in there. You're good. I really enjoyed your recent dirtiest verse in the Bible, Atheist Bible Study. <laughs> I used Ezekiel 16 and 23 frequently as a litmus test when checking if a Bible summary is being honest, e.g. someone recently linked me to Isaac Asimov's Guide to the Bible, and sure enough, he, like everyone else, glosses right past it, which frankly pisses me off because I read a lot of his stuff back in the day. He just piles on the historical puffery and fluffery and doesn't even talk and doesn't talk ejaculate at all. It was very disappointing. <laughs> I feel that way in most conversations. Yeah. I sent both of you your own copies. I've marked a few passages as being especially fun, but honestly, the whole fucking Bible is so unintentionally hilarious that you really can't go wrong anywhere. I can't find anything else even remotely similar to my HBNE. I have Ken's Guide to the Bible and the Skeptics Annotated Bible, but they are totally different animals. I hope you like it. Semi-ad. Semi-ad. Oh, I respect that. Yeah, I respect it. Stuff, uh, Miss Alfaba, $2 super chat. Once you get 30 it all goes down from there. That's fine. Uh, Paul A, how far are you from Cleveland? We'll be there Tuesday. We are about a five and a half hour drive from Cleveland. Wow, this is, oh, we got two of them. Yeah, that's why it was so heavy. Very interesting. The, the Holy Bible, naked and exposed, the entire, the entire Bible undressed and rendered in plain English with analytical commentary. Neato. Mm. Wow. Did what you steal my jokes? <laughs> steal my jokes? No, God, this is looks like it's fucking intensive. I'll have to sit down and read yeah. some of this. But if you want to, I assume this is probably available on Amazon, if mm -hmm. I had to guess. He didn't specify. But also, also, uh, it goes through the New Testament, so... Uh, can't steal all my jokes. Yeah. So, if you're interested, <laughs> The Holy Bible, Naked and Exposed, by J. Miller. Uh, Bachelor of Science. And uh, isn't DDS dentist? Are you a dentist as well? That's That's pretty good. Anyway, anyway, very cool. Who wants to meet in Cleveland? Uh, Cleveland's garbage. Why are you in Cleveland? Cleveland's Cle terrible. Cle Cleveland. At least we're not Detroit. Okay. Can you read that real quick? Oh. Read what real quick? Oh, we got a super chat. Oh, um, this is from... Uh, uh, I'm going to say Glass. I'm looking for the super chat. Oh, there it is. Is it Paul? Oh, no, that was just... I don't see a new one. That's a big one. Mine's lagging a little bit behind. Uh, Ash Farther! Yeah, I don't even see that. $5 one. Super Chat. Also, I'm trying to come up with something to send from Arkansas. I don't know what you want. Say the code word, Ash Farther is best farther. Ash Farther is best farther. Um... Uh... I mean, I don't, I don't know what's Arkansas famous for. Is it... There's got to be stuff in Arkansas that nobody's heard of outside of it, right? I don't know what's in Arkansas. Right. I don't know where Arkansas is. Well, it's to the west of us, mm. of course. Yeah. It's Ark of Kansas. Just Ark of it. I hate you. No, you don't. Okay, so, okay, we got, a, we, got some, we got some things to get through. I have no oh. idea... 
Someone I'm, is this another I'm, junk drawer box? Did someone empty their junk drawer? Or is I, this... I'm thinking so because I have an open box of Jello, instant butterscotch Jello, which I hate. I also hate butterscotch. Good. We'll it's probably also opened. I'm not gonna eat this. It might have anthrax. Uh, yeah, that was opened. It looks like someone went, "Ooh, butterscotch." Nope, didn't mean that. And then <laughs> put it back in there. Uh, okay. This is an old book. I feel like this was the free bin, and you just put it in a box and send it to us. And I respect that. Uh, Through Gates of Splendor by Elizabeth Elliot. Um, I, I don't know what that is. A tragic but inspiring story broken in headlines across the world. Five young men had dared to make contact with a Stone Age tribe deep in the jungles of Ecuador. Their goal? To establish communication with a people whose only precious response to the outside world had been to attack all strangers. The men's mission combined modern technology with innate ingenuity sparked by a passionate determination to get the gospel to a people without Christ. Yeah. Oh, this is a this is a jungle Christian thriller. This is a Christian jungle thriller. Oh, so these are probably all Christian related because this is, of course, Keith Green's 2008 record titled The Greatest Hits of Keith Green um, with, with fan favorites such as You Put the Love in My Heart, Asleep in the Light, and My Eyes Are Dry. With bonus tracks, Your Love Came Over Me, and He'll Take Care of the Rest, which both sound... Uh, like things you say after a film you were accidentally a member of. Oh, no. This is a nonfiction book. There are pictures of them actually going to this tribe. Oh, good. I bet this is super bad if we, we just got this. two classic comic books. Maybe three? Is that a big one? Okay, so we got uh, Spire Christian Comics. Uh, comic we'll have to do this on, on the show. Uh, Crossfire! Uh, about uh, the cops. Christian cops, probably? And then this one is The Hiding Place. Betsy, how can we go on turning the other cheek? Uh, these are Nazis. It Th doesn't say that. It doesn't say these are Nazis. These are Nazis. Oh, they're in a concentration camp. How can we turn the other cheek? We must, Corey. We must show them love is stronger than hate. And then they are burned in an oven. Wait, what's this one? I don't, the back is just a, more of it, I think. No, the back is a different one. Is it? My Brother's Keeper. That's great. I like that on this side, it's like Holocaust story. This side, it's like, hey, maybe, I don't know, is, is this one anti-gay? The guy looks a little flamboyant. 70s? That's just 70s. That's just what the 70s looked like. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Instead of washed out, muted 70s coloration. That's that's closer to the truth. Uh, Mastershin 97, $2 super chat. Dear Hugo and Jake. Uh, uh, f you from Cleveland, love you guys. F you, oh, F you from Cleveland. F fuck you. I love you. You're the best. Uh, this is Serendipity New Testament for groups. Uh, so in case you, does it come with practice? It comes with uh, quizzes. You can do pop give me, quizzes. Give me, a, give me a quiz. Okay, so uh, just assume we've talked about Lazarus recently uh looking at the scriptures 20 minutes if your best friend did not come when you needed him or her how would you feel <laughs> that's not a quiz question what why did jesus ask the friends to take away the stone and take off the grave clothes and let him go i don't know the answers to these because so he would come back to life this smells know. like cigarettes yeah this was in someone's aunt's house died of pulmonary edema <laughs> Critical thinking, evaluating claims and arguments in everyday life. I feel like I saw this uh, recommended for a college course. Yeah. Oh my god, there's so much more in here. Uh, okay, uh, the ant thing might be true because, believe it or not, I have three, hold on, no, there's more. I have four more instant jellos, uh, two of which are still butterscotch. One is a chocolate pudding, pie filling, and the other one is uh, just cook and serve lemon pudding pie filling. Uh, when were these? Definitely someone died and you, you sent me their shit. Uh, does that say 10.32.06? I hope so. 2006? The boxes, the boxes, They're art old. style is definitely out of okay. date. Okay, I don't buy a lot of Jello, but yeah, these are, uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, this these these expired in two thousand and six. I was in high school. 
Okay. That's just a piece of. That's just a piece just of a spacer, yep. probably. Oh, uh, here you go. Ooh, thirty second oh. philosophies. Very interesting. I might already have this book. Who is going to win the photo? Ooh, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. I have a. Bunch we're gonna have a. We're all, we're gonna have a code word later to win the photo. And then we'll do it. We'll pick randomly, okay? Ooh, we got some Act 2 microwave popcorn butter from definitely the 2000s. Um, January 2nd of 2012. Act 2 uh, butter popcorn. In case you were wondering. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A movie starring uh, famous actresses Julie Harris and Jeanette Clift. The Hiding Place. Beautifully restored the inspiring true story of Holocaust survivor Carrie Ten Boom now outshines its own stunning Hollywood premiere. <laughs> With the World War II Nazi invasion of Holland, the Ten Boom family <laughs> joins the underground resistance to help save persecuted what's with, Jewish what's families. What's with the Nazi Christian ebb and flow of this yeah, box? I don't know. Here's something you might actually want. Oh, shit! Yeah. Oh, my God! Okay. Yeah, this is something I think you would actually like. Hogan's Heroes... I don't know if I like Hogan's Heroes. No, just I just love something you're into. Wow, I'm, this is soot covered. I love that Hogan's Ugh. Heroes was a thing. For those of you who are too young or just don't know what Hogan's Heroes You're was, too young for Hogan's Heroes. I understand that, which is why I'm going to explain it to people. No, okay. Hogan's Heroes was a sitcom that took... Eh, this was in the, what, 50s? 60s? 50s, 60s at the latest. That took place... Where do you set a sitcom, Jake? Uh, clearly World War II. You set it in a in a concentration camp. Yeah. Uh, it's a prisoner of war camp, technically, but they're Nazis. And not like, oh, they're a little bit not they're Nazis. There's pictures of Hitler in the office of like the villain. Yeah. And he's a comical villain. Yeah. Oh boy. It's mm. uh here's a here's a book about life-changing Romans. Um, this is an exercise in the understanding that the concept of too soon was not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> until, until much later. Mr. Tea Time with a two English pound super chat. Jake does to food what NASA does to human rights. <laughs> oh. Remember the, hum the NASA yes. is a human rights violation argument on Discord? Someone thinks that NASA is a human rights violation. Uh, my utmost for his highest, Oswald Chambers' classic daily devotional. And this, uh, okay, this book was given to... Um, a uh, Dave, Dave, I'd like to share one of my favorite books with you. Happy birthday, 1993. That was signed a year before I was born. Oh. Hmm. Uh, here's a uh, priority mail address thing. Uh, this is probably child porn. That's a flash drive. This is which, a flash drive. Which it's, it's I, spooky. I, I would not plug into your computer. That is spooky. Hold on. There's a letter, though. Okay. Sp Spookerino. Ag, ag for photo. Okay. All right. Here's the thing, though. Here's, this is covered in, like, a filth. Like, Can I see the flash drive? It's like a photo flash drive, though. We finally got to the letter, which I guess was at the other end of the box. I opened it on the wrong side. Okay. Okay. So, what's here's the thing though. You're going to say something. Oh, I was going to say one time uh we got the way we got Matt Dillahunty to know we existed. That's we all, true. We also handed him we were at a convention and the first time we met Matt, we we seen Matt several times now. We've spoken at the same events actually like, hey, once. Okay, check our shit out. Here's uh, a flash drive. We gave drive. him a flash drive and he actually plugged it in his to his computer. Yeah. Which I really appreciate. Well, we hung out with him for a couple days yeah. after that point. So, um Okay, uh, please do not use my real name. Uh, and now I don't know if that's actually your real name. So I can't say it. Because I don't know if... The, like, is, Why do you do that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm an only child. I'm grabby. Yeah, well, I'm going to be punchy because I'm not an only child. Hey, Hugo and Jake, I enjoy your many videos, especially your ones on D&D. I wanted to play when I was young, but it was forbidden. I did read the Endless Quest Dungeon and Dragons and watch the cartoon. I still would like to play if I could find people who want to play with a 50-year-old noob. In this package are three more Spire Christian comics, my brother's keeper. Did he send us the other Christian comics? That's nice. Uh, Modern Telling of Joseph and his brothers, Crossfire, and The Hiding Place. 
Um, the Corey Ten Boom story? I don't know what that is. Oh, that's why the dude's jacket's so crazy. Corey Ten Boom? Because this is supposed to be Joseph and the Technicolor oh, Dreamcoat oh, set in the oh. 70s. A flash drive containing the comic scanned in. Oh! <gasps> That's huge. Yes, that's very I, helpful. I do have a scanner, but I'm sure you probably took more time than I would. I have included a DVD of the original movie, The Hiding Place. Also in this package is the Serendipity Bible, a used study guide for the Book of Romans, 30-second philosophies, the 50 most thought-provoking philosophies, a textbook on critical thinking. Also the book, the Through the Gates of Splendor, the story of Jim Elliott, written by his widow, Elizabeth Elliott. The devotion my utmost for his highest. The popcorn and puddings are old. Check the date listed on the popcorn and get an idea of the age of the pudding. Notice what is missing from the printing on the package. Maybe it could be eaten by Jake. What's missing from the printing on the package? It's probably nutritional. <laughs> well, no, nutritional. No, it's still there. Uh, a CD of the best of Keith Green, who along with two of his children and nine others, was killed in a plane crash on July 28th, 1982. Hugo said he was watching some 60s television, and I included for both of you season one of Hogan's Heroes, the sitcom taking place in a POW camp, so enjoy a fan. And I don't know if I can say your name because I don't I don't want to lose your name. But thank you very much. He who shall not be named. I'll call you what Jan Brady called her fake boyfriend in the Brady Bunch. Thanks, George Glass. <laughs> uh, we got another... No. Gotta, this one's this one's there we go. This is the last one. Uh this is not your birthday present, but oh are, are we doing my birthday present on Oh yeah we are Okay. Ah. Can I see the knife? You can see the knife. Thanks. Thank you. This is from uh <laughs> Madarian Arts and Sciences uh from Florida, by the way. From Florida. Have some pudding. Is Jake older than Hugo? Yes. By six years. Yep. Let's see what it says. Dear Hugo and Jake, we've enjoyed your videos and humor over the that's years. A, that's, a, that's a bomb. So here is something for you in return to enjoy. We make the... Oh, we make these holy Bibles for fun. But holy is spelled uh, holy. Yeah. So Mandarian arts and sciences. So. Okay, so they're they're doxed. What is what I'm the fuck is going I'm on? I'm so here? afraid of is what a, this is. Is that a is that a trash bag? Is that in a trash bag? Are they actually drilled holy Bibles? I think they're they're just Bibles with holes drilled in them. <laughs> I can feel it, yeah. Are you gonna open it up? No, I'm trying. I'm trying, but I don't want to get a huge mess over your. You don't floor. want it to uh, explode. Yeah, because I'm trying to find the opening to the actual Bible part. I can, I can just I, here. It. I'll hold the. Yeah. Okay. Do we have a couple of them. Is that what's going on here? Oh God. That's funny. Yeah, I like that. You must have oh you must have such a precision bore like, tool. Yeah. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's a, that's a oh that, that, you just left the uh the goop right in there, huh? Yeah. There's there's actual like this is the trash bag in which you held the remaining Yeah, and this one just has a big hole. That's funny. I like that. Yeah. I like the Swiss cheese one a lot. It's cool. These are cute. One of them will go up here probably. Yeah, we'll get a shelf or something. Okay. Very cool. Thank you. <laughs> Neat. All right. Woo. All right. So uh, prepare yourselves because we're about to get into question time. Okay. But first, I have to give Hugo his birthday present because I found this the other day and it reminded me of my childhood. And I was like, wow, Hugo will appreciate this. I wanted it for myself, but it's fine. Just dig your hand up in there. Get it. I oh. literally saw this today at the store and I was it's like, holy shit, I had this toy as a kid. Oh my god. Isn't it cool? I had this one. Yeah. And I had this one and the Red Ranger one. And yeah. you do the thing with the legs and they flip. Yeah. Oh and my the god. armor snaps on there and the head flips over. Yeah. Yep. I see why we're best friends. I know. That's cool as shit. Also, the back on there. It shows you how it works. Do you guys do you guys remember these? 
These were cool as These shit. These were my favorite toys. I know! I me Power too! I had him and I had uh, the Red Ranger. Did they make the other ones? Mm -hmm. hmm. I think I had, a black, I, had, I, had um, a, I had a black Ranger one, I remember. I had the Megazord. I did not have the Dragon Zord, however, which is the one I really wanted because back in the day they made them so they all stuck together yeah. and the dragon sword would spit over top like the man those were cool okay i'm going to i'm going to hug you oh well okay thank you eh, pain, painful social awkwardness it's the best i got okay thank you though really yeah jake is a good boyfriend <laughs> god, oh my I god he got so excited of course he did i knew he was going to I had to, I had to, I couldn't hold on to it for long because the odds were that you were going to get that for yourself at some point. I, I literally was I at the store you, today. Well, that, I looked at this yeah. and it was in my hand. Yeah. I'm not kidding. That's awesome. That is so weird. We're not going to kiss. No. <laughs> kiss him, you fool. <laughs> it was like, it was like when I let you fly away on the airplane and I don't run after you in the terminal. <laughs> that's, that's great. Just kiss. Break the tension. There is no tension here. All right. So questions. Yeah. Yeah. Get in touch. Tips. Get your get your questions up in here. I think that's all. Of, yeah. That's that's it. Uh. God. We gotta put this meat flour up. Yeah. That's definitely a thing that's gotta happen. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. I want to do a drawing as well. So, uh, if you want a picture of the fuck is his name? I can't read his goddamn. Was it Casey? I think it's Casey. Okay. Hi, Hugo and Jake. Okay. So this one is the one for the fan. So you will get these three amazing items uh, from <laughs> Casey. Uh, of course, uh, Batman and Superman, the DVD. One packet of chicken flavor from the uh, shittier ramen noodles. And then one picture of him holding a picture of Paul. And, of course, if you get this, you are, um, it is, you are, um, you're supposed to carry on the legacy and take a picture of you holding a picture of him holding a picture of Paul. And this will just continue forever and ever into perpetuity. And uh, there's literally no way you can get out of it once you receive this. <laughs> okay. So, just so you know. So I think I think if you uh, if you would like to enter yourself in a chance to win this, uh, and of course I will I will have a chick tracked or whatever. I got one that I haven't sent to patrons. Uh, we'll sign that. We'll send that along with you, uh, and um, so you'll also have something from us as well. So if you want to put in code word Casey C A S E Y just once, uh, just one time, and then uh, I will have uh, the glorious mods. Uh, decide who the winner is uh, near the end of the stream. Code word Casey. C-A-S-E-Y. -E someone asked how far into Kingdom Come we are because they want to talk. Is that about Dater? It. I don't know who said it. I'm going to go back. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> it will be at random, though. So Paul is technically in. We don't have an envelope for that desk. We'll get one. That's fine. No big deal. Uh, we can get one at the uh, thing when we send the tracks. Woof. C-A-S-E-Y. Correct. Uh, oh yeah! Wow, okay. that's a lot of people. A lot of folks. Uh, I only had braces for 18 months. I remember because it was two days before my cousin was born. Question: I listen to TBR and TQR while I sleep. Uh, who should be more worried about this? You guys are mean. You because you will wake up and just start swearing at people. I'm not worried about that. Keep that sweet, sweet ad ads running all oh, night dude, long. You probably made us 13, 14 cents. <laughs> God damn. So how's the dogmatic cult today, guys? Pretty well. Paul, uh, with the super chat that we missed, call the USB cable a birthday present. It's calming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we needed a USB cable. We mentioned it, like, yeah. in our last live stream. And, and Paul sent it us So this hasn't failed on us today. Yeah, surprisingly enough. So. For the record. Skylar Eulery, I wish Jake was my boyfriend. You do not wish that. Someone said I looked like Riker earlier. Riker? Like, from Star Trek? You Which haven't is, put your hand, leg up on anything No, today. but that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me, I think. <laughs> you look like Jonathan Frakes. Prime Jonathan Frakes. Oh, prime. Yeah, that's right. Not beyond belief, fact, or fiction, Jonathan Frakes. 
Uh, I leave you guys on when you, I'm not doing anything to help your AdSense. It probably helps a lot. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. I was joking about the 13 or 14 cents. That's fantastic. If you guys want to game the system like that for me and for Hugo, there's a way to do it. <laughs> they do it, but they have ad block on, so it means nothing. It's just a... <laughs> Why haven't you shown your sweaty asses on Deep Fat Fried yet? We actually had a... We were playing to We were literally on. in a call with both of them, and they couldn't figure out their equipment. So it's coming. Yeah. Um, also, uh, I was just on last night YouTube Saints with Jeff Holiday and Wizard of Cause. Um, we talked about um, the uh, game of bones, which is what the controversy surrounding uh, chicken wings is being called. <laughs> and um, I will have you know uh, that Chris sides with me. And since he started it, that means, uh, what, what does that make him? Uh, Joffrey. He is Joffrey. And so that makes me... Khaleesi. <laughs> uh, Paul Allen, another $2 super chat. How much do you get from Red? Like YouTube Red? We get a lot more from Red than we get from normal yeah, ads. It's a function of um, who you watch the most. The more channels you watch, the more your stuff is divided, but it's also weighted by who you watch the most. So yeah. if you watch one channel the most, they get a certain percentage of your uh, Red revenue or whatever. Um, it's I think it's based on how much you watch view time. Mm. Uh, Grats to at its lasers you win the thing so it's lasers um uh, uh uh contact us either on the discord contact sarah on the discord or contact her at legend of phoenix on twitter or contact me we will get your information to send you the thing red venue yes red yeah venue. red venue that's actually a good way to um it. yeah so um Jake, do you sign your track with just a J? Because uh, that's just my uh, that's just my goddamn thing. Uh, Miss Elfaba, will you ever be to MegaCon in Orlando? Or have you ever been to MegaCon in Orlando? Will you? I've never heard of it. What's MegaCon? I don't know. I've never heard Is that of like Megazord Con? I don't know. Is it a, in is Orlando? It Orlando? That'd be cool. Yeah. Discord is best, though. Yes. Uh... Mr. Laser, really want YouTube Red, but not Americano. Is it only available for Americans? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. I don't, Why? You, because YouTube is a company that makes no sense. No sense. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Being a patron's better for you and us. But yeah. if you if you want the features of YouTube Red, I, I can't give them to you. <laughs> uh, but if it's just to support us or other creators, Patreon is usually the best way because. Uh, we easily keep the most out of that um, tip than we do the red. <laughs> Hugo, when can we see your mom do spicy memes? Uh oh, not, not for at least six months. <laughs> yeah, six months. That uh, makes it sound like she's in jail. <laughs> she's in Hugo jail. How about that? <laughs> uh, is the D and D campaign a patron perk? It is not. Uh, when when uh, I'm saying when when we decide to broadcast that. Um, that'll be on Twitch, uh, and we'll probably upload highlights to Unpop. Yeah, but the I mean we play for a long time. So. Yeah. Um, but that'll be for everybody. Uh. So is the winner allowed to taste the ramen flavoring? If you can do whatever. Once it's they're it, in once your possession, there, it's, it's yours. yours. It's your ramen pack. Yeah. You know what? I. The world is your oyster. Depending on the size of the box, I may send you some Jello. I I happen I just happened into some, uh, and so that's good to go. Uh, uh, what's your favorite Megazord? Mine is the original or Thunderzord with a kick-ass red dragon. Mine's the original with the dragon zord. I you know actually mine's gonna be a little bit uh, controversial this far. Really, as um, I like the zord from In Space because it's very unique in that. Um, I don't know if you remember in space, that was the fourth se fourth season um, when they changed over their powers. Um, it was the final Zordon season. Basically, it was the ultimate wrap-up to everything from Mighty Morph until then. That, okay. was, that was, you know, everything. That was all one story, and then after that, every season it was different. Okay. Um, so they actually lived in a, in a spaceship right. on the show. That was sort of their command center. 
the spaceship itself turned into their Megazord. Is that cool? Uh, yeah, it was just unique. So they had like a little shuttle that came up from NASA that it was the head and then their big spaceship was the... NASA. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, in the Power Rangers universe, they don't have NASA. They well, have... Also, it's made in Japan. I would hope it wasn't NASA. They have um, uh, some other fake made-up space agency. Zordon specifically helped them design um, the shuttle um, in canon. He couldn't design something that wasn't a shuttle? Because... He's fucking... Okay. So it could be used with the mega ship and combined to the me to be the Megazord. Um, and I like it because most Megazords are like five things, but it, for one, it was their base, and two, it's just two pieces that come together. It's got kind of a sleek, cool yeah. design. Uh, that guy, 41, it's cool to realize you guys are actually talking to us live and like regular people with no script. We never have a script. That's not true. We uh, when you. we do the movie reviews, oh, well, we, we have written we have, notes. We have notes, but I wouldn't call that a script. Yeah. Would you call that a script? Sometimes we read off it. Yeah, but not a script. It's not written out dialogue. It's an outline. It's an outline. Yeah. That we so, uh, but yeah, no, like every episode besides the movie reviews, and even then we break into definite not what we wrote down. Yeah. All the time. So, like everything besides that, we I don't we, I can't remember writing something down besides for the movie reviews. Sometimes for unpop, I'll take notes on I certain don't. things. If I'm reading, I, I usually watch the trailers or something, but I don't take. Well, again, that's an outline. And, just oh, so yeah. you remember point yeah. for point. So, yeah, we're always just kind of talking to you like this. On do um, on the but I do Who like this format, by the way. I really enjoy this. Yeah. The Doctor Who reviews, I definitely take notes of. Doctor Who has got a lot of lore to get through, though. Yeah, yeah you read my comment? Yeah, of course. Um, I'm trying to think. The, the, there was one other Megazord that I really, really liked. It was the one, it had a really long snaky dragon on it. Do you remember that one? It had a big green gem in the chest. Yes. Was that the second Megazord? Was that right after Mighty Morphin? I believe that was... Because that was really cool design. I think that was when... The, the ninjas and stuff, It right? was the... It was, that was either the ninja It was right or... after the movie came out, after they stopped... And it wasn't canon, but... I think that they was... took that the, idea. Yeah, they you still use the ninja sword and stuff. I, I think, think the, the ninja, ninja sword. I, yeah, with the, the... Specifically, the dragon was really cool. And then there was like a... Um, there was like a pink bird or whatever. I think, or maybe it was a pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. I don't remember, but yeah. uh, pterodactyl was the first one. That was re that was Kimberly. Yeah, you're right. That was really really cool though. I just I, I just remember the green orb mm -hmm. and the chest thing, and it just all. I think that was like a lion. Shogun, like a Zord? black lion. Was it called the Shogun Zord, or am I thinking later on? The Shogun. People are saying the Shogun. I don't remember the the Thunder Zord. Maybe. No, I think the Thunder Zord. Let me let me look it up. I'm gonna look up the Thunder Zord real quick to see if that's the one. Thunder Zord. I'm gonna look up Shogun Zord. Okay, that's, that's the best way to, to cover our bases here. Uh, it was the Thunder Zord, indeed. No, the Shogun Zord was a different one. Uh, it had. Uh, oh, it was the Mast. Wow, look at the price on the fucking Mastodon. Mm -hmm. uh, Eleven hundred dollars, dude. That Power Ring. I I like Power Ring. One hundred and eighty nine dollars. This is what I'm talking about, by the way. In case you wanted to remember, uh, that guy right there. He was very cool. There was definitely a dragon. Or am, I, or am I misremembering the dragon? Tommy had a dragon zord when he was the Green Right, Ranger. an actual like snaky dragon, though. Are you thinking of Lord Zed Zord? No, it's this right here. Serpentera? The red dragon's red dragon thunder zord. No, I'm not, oh, okay. I'm not crazy. Right. It was just separate. It was just a separate piece that I forgot about. Uh, that's what I was thinking about. Okay. Um, I had both of those. Because okay, my parents nailed it one year, I guess. Because Zed, I know, had Serpentera. Hmm. Oh, and they have two different kinds. I had the one on the left, which is clearly superior because it's it's actual uh, like a gemstone uh, there. So uh, yeah, I think they're, I think this is the reproduced one that they they just came out with. Yeah, uh, to capture the our our sweet sweet nostalgia dollars. Oh oh no, they have a they have one of these helmets, but for the Green Ranger now. Yeah, that's that's definitely going in your someday. Oh, I have I have a problem. Yeah. It's okay. This is what I remember specifically. Look at that. I remember how that felt in my hands. Yeah, I had that one too. That one right there where he's in dragon mode. Oh boy. Oh baby. Sign me up for some of that. Zio sucks. I agree. Zio sucks. I love Zio. Stronger than before. Anyway, before. Will biblical conversations be coming back? We have a couple ideas for biblical conversations and we just haven't gotten around to it. Yeah. Oh, they're trying to do the helmets, but from the new movie. No one wants that. I'm, who would? No. Oh, God, no. Paul A. Oh, God. 
$5 super chat. If anyone DMs on Discord at Paul A, I will personally mail them a signed photo because I am a crazy person. Yep, that's accurate. That sounds about right. I like Paul a lot, though. Oh, I used to have this Saba sword, too. You remember that? The thing? Saba sword's fucking rad. Yeah. Man, why did we get rid of our toys? We were too cool at one point, man. Yeah. yeah. It was too cool. I had a lot of Gundams, too, that I don't think they make anymore. I had some Bionicles. I had um, Heavy Arms, the one with the chest shooty minigun tits. I miss my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toys. Yeah, I had He-Man and Master of the Universe originals with the Grayskull Keep. I didn't watch that show. I was yeah. a little too old or young for it, but uh, yeah. I yeah. had some of the weird ones where they were like monster turtles. Because, you know, they just did all kinds of turtles. I had the ones from the movies. Uh, Tonka and Reza? Or Reza? I know you're talking about. Yeah, the, the, the wolf and the snapping the one, turtle. The Bebop and Rock study that aren't Bebop and Rock study. Yeah. Oh, I also had uh, Super Shredder from the movie, from the second movie? That might have been third at that point. No, that was the uh, where, one. where he Secret got the, the crazy. Secret for some reason, Mutagen made the metal on his arms big yeah. and long. And, but I love those movies, man. They're still pretty good. They hold up. The first one specifically holds up really well. Yeah. Second one's okay. Third one's pretty bad. I was caught in time, right? Or yep. whatever. Mm -hmm. Lost in time. Fuck Power Rangers or Megas. What? Bionicles represent. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, you're kicked out of the house. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck ton of Spawn action figures. Spawn was uh, a little next level for a child back yeah. in the day. My parents weren't very happy about Spawn. <laughs> but they did get me a Spawn board game at one point because I really like Spawn. Uh, specifically, I really like Spawn because the Super Nintendo video game was actually really fun. I didn't play, you didn't play it. it. Oh, it was really good. At least I remember it being good. It's probably shit now, comparatively. I was six years younger than you, too. Remember, I wouldn't have been allowed to play that. I was on yeah. Mario when I Zelda. Forgot, I forgot that... Uh, you had uh, parents uh, that uh, gave a shit about the content that you watched. <laughs> um, it was more my dad than my mom. Sure. My mom was like, he likes the thing. Yeah. But I'm like the thing. My dad was like, nah, I'm dad. The idea that any Super Nintendo game could be too graphic or violent is hilarious to yeah. me thinking back now, though. I didn't have Super Nintendo. It was my buddy. Hmm. Billy. Billy, who climbed up the, uh, we had a, a a lockdown situation because in preschool or was it kindergarten? He he, and at recess he climbed up a tree. This is a true story. He climbed up a tree, didn't come back to class during recess. And they locked it down, thinking he ran away, and he was just up in that tree for like two hours. Police came, found him, brought him back in. He was like, I just wanted to climb a tree. And then my buddy Ryan, we were in his backyard we were in our teenage years. In his backyard, and there were chipping golf balls with a set of golf clubs we had. And uh, Ryan uh, takes a swing, uh, and 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 uh, William, um, in all of his his um, wisdom, walks out in front of Ryan, gets hit in the head with that golf ball off a driving tee, and uh, immediately drops out of high school, and his life was ruined. <laughs> I think he's fine now. I think he's doing okay now. I actually haven't talked to him in a long time, but he definitely got hit right in the fucking dome. And we all blamed Ryan for his downfall. So that's what happened. Well, that's, that's communist in space. Five English pounds. Are you proud of your uh, echolopedia? I, I assume that's encyclopedic knowledge of Power Rangers, not hating, by the way. Are you proud of that? Is that a thing that you get proud of? I, don't, I can't, I can't I, imagine you take pride take, in a lot of I stuff. I don't take like pride. That. It's just a thing that is. Yeah. I don't know. I just know a lot of Power Rangers stuff. I really like Power Rangers. I don't think Hugo's not a very prideful person. No, but no. once I'm into, if I'm into something, excited, I will, I will suck in all the information yeah. like a sponge, and yeah. it'll stay there in my autistic brain for eternity. I wish I was a little more autistic because I forget shit that I shouldn't sometimes, and it bothers me a lot. Tommy. Just, a, just a little more autistic. Tommy Ugh. was actually in the pilot for Power Rangers mm. playing the Red Ranger. Right. Uh, which probably wouldn't have turned out good because then you would have had a Native American person playing the Red Ranger, an Asian playing the Yellow Ranger, and a black guy playing the Black Ranger. So, Is that really why they bailed out? I don't know if that's why they didn't pick Tommy until later for the Green Ranger, but there's a pilot out there you can see. He's the Red Ranger. It's in a bowling alley. Beast Wars Megatron. Wow. I remember the Beast Wars. You guys play the Beast Wars video game? That was fucking awful. You were on, like, Mars or something. You had to be in Beast Mode to not take, like, radiation damage. But you couldn't hit anything unless you were in Robot Mode. Oh, that's it was bad. It was really fucking terrible. 
Um, oh, Nasada was the fake version. Now I remember. Nasada was the fake version of NASA in Power Rangers. Nasada. Yeah. Solid. They took a they took a solid thirty seconds to come up with that <laughs> fake NASA. God damn. You said it a D. Yeah. yeah. No, no D A. It's all right though. At the end, they 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 smashed Zordon's tube, and his Z wave went out and uh, cleansed the universe. Cleansed the universe of all evil until the next season. Literally, so. why didn't they just always smash Zordon's thing? If that's how it works. I assume Zordon wanted to not die. Fuck him. He can save the universe. Fuck Zordon. Again, the next this season... This is a Dumbledore situation the, where just fuck him. The next season, evil was back, so it didn't really matter. Yeah. The Z-Wave had a, a a distance... Expiration appear. date. Uh, Rita and Zed became good, though, which actually came into play in recent seasons. Did you know that Rita became the, the empress of um, all good magic on Earth after that? I know that uh, the reason she's evil in the first place is because her son dies, right? I don't know. Uh, in the original Super Sentai, probably, but that's different right. in the Power Rangers. Yeah. But um, in Power Rangers, one of the more recent ones, she came back, same actress, she's dead now, but right. one of the more recent seasons, she came back and she was like, they were doing a backstory episode on some MacGuffin thing, and she was in it as good Rita huh. trying to save something. It was really interesting. And uh, she she was still Rita, though. She was like, you're giving me a headache, and then, like, killed the evil Killed the thing. bad guy? Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty badass, actually. If you're into Power Rangers, check it out, because, uh, I don't know. They never showed what happened to Zed, though. They did show what happened to Zed. He became human also, but we don't see if he becomes... Uh... Zed became human? Yeah. Zed was too brainy to be human. Did he, he get skin? He, yeah, he got skin. He became, like, a Good for guy. Zed. Um, that was probably a painful existence before the skin. Maybe. That um, would have explained the evil. The anger. Yeah. yeah. Just everything fucking hurts me all the time, guys. Anyway. Like just talking in a room with him would change the air pressure and rub against his nerves. <laughs> uh, Josh Potts, I've asked Jake before, but now that Hugo is here, if I pay for the patron for Unpop, will you review a Goosebumps episode? I need this episode reviewed. Maybe. We gotta revamp the whole Patreon for Unpop. Yeah. So once we do that, we actually haven't been pushing it in forever because we just haven't been doing anything with it. So yeah, yeah. I don't actually know if we have patrons there. I don't know I if don't we have know. a balance on that. I don't know. We haven't touched it. I'll have to uh, look. Well, we don't talk about it specifically because uh, we didn't for a little while. We didn't think the content was worthy of pushing Patreon for it. Yeah. Um, we're getting more. We can just put there. it on Hugo and Jake there. Yeah? Unpop does have its own Patreon. It was uh, short-lived. We we started doing it, and then we're like, I don't know if we like the format. We changed it around a few times. I think we're happy with this. When we like something, we put it on the channel, though. Yeah. I think I'm happy with that format. Sure. Uh, 90s TV is best TV. That might be true. That might be true. It has Quantum Leap and Sliders. 90s TV? It also has... Uh, Knight Rider? I don't know where I remember this. Black superhero, the Mantis. I don't remember the Mantis. Or maybe it was just Mantis. Xena, warrior princess. Mantis, Hercules. 90s. Yep, here it is. 1994 to nothing. That was it. It was Mantis. Uh, Do people know about Reboot outside of Canada? Yes. Ooh, okay. Reboot. I love Reboot. My grandma used to record Reboot for me. I have bad news. They're rebooting Reboot. They did it. They've already done that once in the 2000s. They're doing it again wow. on Netflix, and it looks terrible. Well, it always looked terrible. No, it look. I I mean, okay, but it I'll, looks that's fine. Terrible. But I want to pitch you the 22 episodes. Okay. Of Mantis, real quick. Okay. A paralyzed African American scientist builds a powerful exoskeleton in order to walk again and uses his new abilities to fight crime instead of patenting it and making billions of dollars because he's, he just saved cripples. And, and, and helping fuck, and helping. Literally others. fucking helping. What okay. the, he's, he's shitty Batman. That's Tony Stark, though. Tony Stark invents unlimited energy source, uses it to beat up terrorists yeah. and aliens. Oh, yeah. God. Full series cast. Carl Lumbly played Dr. Miles Hawkins, who was the superhero. Roger Reese played John Stonebreak. Chris Garton played Taylor Savage. You can tell these are so very 90s written. There's a lots of uh, people without actual names, like Detective Reed. Fucking Lynette, M-I-B number two. I love this shit. 
I love this shit so much. What a terrible fucking show. Anyway. Oh, our Patreon link in the description isn't accurate anymore because it changed. Oh. Remember? Because it's Hugo and Jake now, not TBR. Sure. We'll change it up. Oh, by the way, if you are a patron and... Um, uh, I just found this out and I actually didn't know that. Uh, if you are um, declined because your card information changes or something, it'll just decline you in perpetuity. So if you haven't been getting things and you thought you should, check uh, to see if you ought to be updating your, your information on there. And also, if you haven't been getting stuff, check your address to make sure it's accurate. Because um, I just got... Uh, so far, this is the only one for the batch, but again... Um, uh, uh, Parker, um, who I know I've sent stuff to before, um, uh, your address shit got sent back, so. Uh, Viper, oh my god. I'm trying to remember all these shows. Nikita, La Femme Nikita, Swamp Thing, of course, Jump Street, of Does course. Does anyone remember Manimal? Why do I remember Manimal? What was what was Manimal? He was a man that could turn into animals. Just all of them? Yeah. Isn't that just lycanthropy? Isn't that just a fucking lichen? No, they they can only turn into werewolves. Not all, no. You can be aware of anything. I know, but I'm saying he could turn into anything. Oh, okay. Manimal. Hmm. <laughs> Urkel. All right. All right, winding down. You got three minutes to ask your questions. Three minutes. You're on notice. I'm really, really torn on whether or not I'm going to open this. Uh, see, in my opinion, it's a recreation and therefore less valuable. And so I know I just I wanted to play with it immediately because, like, no, I'm saying like I I don't I, I just want to spin the head honestly. Like, that's really I want to put the armor on. This is what the the box art looks. Oh like yeah, no, no, no. That's the original design. Yeah, but it's not one. It's, it's clearly a reproduction. Oh, I know. So I know. I just don't I just think, think it would hold cool. on to value. Yeah. We have a golden ticket system now. Yep. So uh, three people are selected to uh, random hang with the boys. Yes, this is technically because of Patreon. This is a, a gift, uh, a, a special gift given at random uh, to any patrons. So uh, look at uh, that. They yeah. even have a, oh man, do you remember these too? Holy shit, the monsters. Oh, it has God. like the advertisements on the back for the old toys too. Oh man, that's awesome. I remember they have the coin I too, right? I remember using the fake tattoo. It's a it's a uh, it's a stick on tattoo. Do you guys do you remember the did you have the morpher with the different coins? I didn't. Dude. I always wanted it as a kid. The morpher and you could click it down and then pop it open and it would Was that that had so cool. you must have had the Zia one then because No 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 the original one. The with original the ones were the coins. belt buckles. Uh we put them on our wrists, so I don't know. Oh okay. I don't know what they were supposed to be, we were children. Yeah, that's fair. Hmm. Jake, why is life even? I don't know, dude. I don't know. That's a good question. Uh... <laughs> uh... He's putting fingerprints on it! I want you to pull that out and play with it so bad. Like, I, I, I want, like, the armor specifically, just hearing that click and then seeing the... Whew! Are you going to do it? You don't have to. I don't want to pressure you into this, but... Oh, he's... Yeah, broke the seal. He's got to. Woo! I'm getting uh, very excited about this. Yeah. Not actually cheap, by the way. They're 20 bucks. Yeah, that's... I'm actually very surprised that it wasn't, like, closer to 15. No, it hurts me. <laughs> do it. Oh, does it feel the same way? Yes, it does. Damn. That's fucking cool. Oh, and they had the articulated knees and ankles and shit, right? Was it like this? Or was I think I just I just flipped it. I think I think you just pop it out and then move the head yourself. Yeah. No, there's a way to do. Is oh, there? I thought Is there, there instructions. Was. The kid in me wants to steal that from you and play with it my damn self, but I'm not gonna. I'm an adult now. Yeah, you just spin it with your hand. Oh, yeah. I can't believe in the 90s they were like, yeah, that looks like Jason David Frank. Is he? <laughs> That's so bad. This guy's and a I lot whiter than Jason David Frank. I love it. Frank. I love it so much. Yeah. Let me get that. You guy. guys are nerds. Yeah, I know. 
Jake, just read my old dead meme. I, okay, I'll go up. I'll look up. Uh, um, um, He's got to get the shield. He's got to have the shield to be the Who is the more dominant one in your relationship? Well, I mean, if we had a relationship, I would be the more dominant one, I think. And that's just because I have a strong personality. That's cool as shit. This makes me very happy. Yes, this is worth every penny. I can hear Sarah's frustration at the open package from here. Whatever, dude. I don't know what she was into as a kid. Probably some fucking like Beyblades or something gay like that. I'd, I'd uh, if well, I. Well, we are we are pulling a '90s, calling things gay. I know. I, I did that specifically oh, okay. for her. Uh, put the tattoo on at least. You want me to lick the tattoo for you? I'd rather you not lick okay. the tattoo. Oh, I remember the, even the hands. They didn't actually fit in the hands. They had little holes in the hands, so it holds the guy. I love it. Dude, it fits in his holster, too, if I remember correctly. <gasps> yeah, it's, it goes in his holster. Oh, I think yeah. I broke the holster on I mine. I think like I did, too. They're probably cheap. I mean, they're very clearly cheap. I just... That's awesome. Fuck yeah. Yeah, very cool. Pull it out and play with it. <laughs> Got him. What the fuck was Bratz? How dare you all? <laughs> you know, it's the little things in life. I know, right? Oh, just, the, the, the flute thing is pretty great. God, that, that is so proportioned poorly. I never... It's weird because I think about these... More than I should, A couple yeah. times a year, yeah. I, I think back, because these were some of my favorite toys, and I think of them because they were just so unique. Yeah. I never thought I would hold one of these in my hand. I never, never thought again. I'd see one in the store again, and I was like... I immediately... I was walking in the store with Sarah... And I just happened to go down the toy aisle because fuck it. Uh, I never buy toys, by the way. Like you're the you're the toy guy. Yeah. I don't I don't usually buy them. I was just like walking around. I was looking for like maybe a board game or something. I didn't actually buy anything. And then I walked past that and I was like, I have to fucking buy this. I know Hugo's birthday is. I think I texted you when's your birthday right when I saw that uh, because I knew it was soon. Uh, so yeah, got that. Maybe we'll take the boy out for drinks too or something or I food. Food. I don't drink anything. Well, you don't have to drink. I can get a drink. Oh, sure. Uh, Hot Wheels. They still make Hot Wheels. Yeah. Hot Wheels is still a thing. Hot Wheels. We don't have nice. to be nostalgic about Hot Wheels. It never stopped. Yeah. Hot Wheels was something that my parents tried to force on me because I have a penis. And I didn't really I didn't appreciate. I liked Hot Wheels more for looking at them than playing with I them. Like, you Does know that what? make sense? I always, liked, I always liked the superhero Hot Wheels. Yeah. I like the really cool designed ones. It was cool to hold, yeah. like a, a car in your hand and just look at the design. The ones with That's the hoods was, and the doors and shit. Yeah. Those were always cool. But I, like, I don't care about the racetrack. So then I found out my brother likes that shit. Yeah, dude. Does the head even turn? I, don't, I think it's locked in, isn't it? It's locked yeah. in. Oh yeah. yeah. I remember this shit. <laughs> but I mean, do you remember making like the sound effects with your mouth and shit? Like. Psh, yeah. psh, psh. That sounds exactly. Like every every uh, young person's, uh, uh, I role played like they had personalities. I had a giant case of Hot Wheels, and I role played like they had. Oh wow, that's super weird. That's super fucking weird. Uh, I remember uh, the Gundams that I recommend. Uh, the reason I like them so much is because they had the ball joint articulated things. So it was like a piece of a piece of uh, really malleable, almost rubber-like plastic that you could stick the ball joint in, and then it would like the, here's the elbow or whatever. But because they're robots, you'd be like, Whoosh, and that would be gone, and then you could show damage on them. And then they had a bunch of different pieces, and you could mix and match if the ball joints matched up. Makes sense. I love that shit. And I was a big Lego kid too, so I think that's where it came from. I was always pretty creative with that shit. I was really good at Legos for a while too, but no Lego. Thank he'll, you. He'll yell at Thank me. you. Lego. The plural of Lego is Lego. Right, but uh, my mom calls uh, the store Myers instead of Meyer. Um, she calls them Legos. Uh, you know, it's just a, it's just a thing. Um, stop trying to make Zoids happen. What was a Zoid? I don't remember. You know what I remember? Mighty Max. Little tiny, they came in. Uh, they're like little compacts, but you little open compacts them up. opens it was a playset with a little Mighty Max, and I believe it was a cartoon too. And then, like, probably the enemy and maybe like a sidekick. 
always so fucking cool. I love that shit. There was a girl version of that too. Yeah, there was Polly Pocket. Was that what Polly Pocket was? I that's the only thing I know. I don't. I can't. Re- I didn't get one, so I don't picture it very well. But someone uh, else says the female version was Polly Pocket. So yeah. Boom. I know I had some Star Wars ones. Man. Oh no! Don't lose any pieces no. to the they're couch. All, all okay. God, that's so cool. I'm really happy about this. So am I. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. I said three minutes, uh, nine minutes ago. We are over, uh, that many. Uh, boy, I could just talk about the 90s forever. Yeah. Yeah. Micro Machines, remember? Yeah. It's like just shitty Hot Wheels, right? They're tinier, and they had the Micro Machine man who did the fast talking. Has anyone legit sent you drugs through your PO? No. Yes. They did? Oh, they did. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. You can go to federal prison for that. You should not do that. I don't even want them. Mm. Mm. Very dangerous. Unless you're homeless and you want to get caught, in which case you will soon have a home. Subscribe. Once again, the sea has disappeared from the coast. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I think we're good. Crash test dummies. I had some crash. Those tests. were cool. Their heads popped off, right, and their arms and shit. Yeah, different stuff. I love that. They had shit. little vehicles that you get them in. Those I things fucking love that. Yeah. yeah. Combines toys and and breaking. It, it makes breaking toys part of the yeah. experience of playing with them. Very it's brilliant. Fun. Very brilliant. Yeah. They yeah, had a dude. TV show for a while. They too. did, didn't they? Yeah. Crash test dummies were fucking rad. I love that too because at the same time they're running like those ads for like safety of cars at the same time so it was always really iconic as a child to be like oh crash test dummy that's a big deal so yeah that's good marketing good for them and they were fun though that's that's the real point i think like a toy marketing wise like pokemon really nailed it early on but all of it was fun and that was good the it's so cynical now i think i mean it was cynical back in the day i mean they were like cut through you ever watch the barbie documentary on netflix cutthroat i mean they they destroy like gem in the holograms dolls, they destroyed them. Uh, they sued brats. Like, always really terrible. Um, it was in the the Toys That Made Us, that documentary series, which was really fantastic. Um, it's always been like, a, you know, but they, they always did, managed to make, like, actual fun shit that kids like. And I don't know. I don't know how they always do that. I think it's because they saturate the market with it until something hits. But Power Rangers toys, Lego, like, my, all that shit. Did you have a uh, one of those ovens? Um, creepy crawlers? Yep, I had that exact did, one. Did you have the superhero, specifically the X-Men die-cast metal things, and they came with wires, so you could put, like, here's the arm wire, here's the leg wire, and then when you put the plastic in it and baked it, like, little cyclops would pop out, and then you would have... He would because it was a little uh, wire. You could like bend his leg and it would stay there, and it was articulated. Oh fuck, those were cool. Creepy crawlers was fucking rad. It was like it was like boy easy bake oven. <laughs> Let's start a '90s toy channel and we'll just talk about That's the unpop. '90s toys. I could do that for uh, forever, but we'd have to get actual '90s toys. toys. We'd have to hit the eBay. Oof. Hey, if you guys if you guys want to watch that, yeah, if you guys want to send us any old toys or anything, maybe yeah. we'll do that and unpop and do like a review. That'd be of fun old as toys. shit, dude. That'd, That'd be, be funny as hell. We need to get a little table though. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So uh anyway, I think I, I, I think that's that's it. 90s toys indeed were lit. Um I don't remember Zoids at all. Zoids had the ball joints like Gundam. I don't remember Zoids. I don't remember Zoids either. I remember Shark, the Shark Hands. Yeah. I liked the shark um, attack or something. I liked the street sharks. Street sharks. I like street sharks. But then they had the ones that went on your hands. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Uh, Patreon. What? I don't understand why you just said Patreon. Uh, become one of those creepy toy channels. Yeah, we can inject Tommy's green ass with a serum <laughs> and then tie him to a post. All right. Uh, that would be a cool series. I think I'm in on that. I think I'm uh, 100% in on that. Is there anything else we want to say to the kids before we head out? No, I think that's it. Just thanks, everyone. My birthday is on Monday the 12th. If anyone wants to give me birthday wishes that day. I would Patterson for that. He means Patreon. Mm. Uh, Other than that, 
I think that's it. Yeah. Thanks everyone for showing up the live show. Hope you enjoyed oh, this. Indeed. Maybe learn something about Power Rangers or something. Oh yeah. Check out the book, The Holy Bible, Naked and Exposed, probably on Amazon by Jay Miller if you get a chance. I forgot we were propagandizing that book. Yeah, and uh that's it. So uh say bye, Tommy. Bye, Tommy. That doesn't sound like Jason David Frank at all. I don't think Jason David Frank would uh, associate with us. He is a Christian man. He is. He's a Christian man who wears tap-out clothes, which tells you everything you need to know about Jason David Frank.